It's time once again for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Everybody. It's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And um, tonight, we're going to read a story about a great person. You've probably heard of Wayne Gretzky, number 99, Edmonton Oilers, and later went to L.A. Well, we're going to read about his dad. His dad, Walter Gretzky, was a big inspiration for Wayne. And uh, this book is called Great. Inspired by Walter Gretzky. It's written by Glenn Gretzky and Lori Holomus, illustrated by Kevin Sylvester. And um, yeah, it talks a little bit about Walter. And uh, this story was copyright in 2016. Are you ready? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mom says I never get up this early, but today is different. Coach Wally called last night. I made the team the best team in the world. There's a lot of honking going on. Honk, honk, honk. And a lot of people waking up because of the honking. Everyone on this team is great. They win all the time. But I'm a bit nervous. This is also his team. Wayne's team, the kid they're calling the great one. I want to be great too. Coach Wally is standing by the locker room, smiling. Welcome to the team, Taylor, he says. I'm going to be your best player, I declare. He chuckles. As long as you have fun, work hard and do your best, that is all that matters. Then he shows me my stall. Everyone says hi, but I just wave. My stomach is flopping like a goalie. I'm right next to him. And him said, hey. Nerves. Maybe that's why I play so badly in practice. I try to pass the puck to Maddie. I miss her every time by a lot. Sam passes me the puck and it just bounces off my blade. I'm so mad. Oh, I slam my stick on the ice. Coach Wally blows his whistle and skates over. Taylor, just keep practicing. If you're going to do something, make sure you're focused and you do it right. So I concentrate. I shoot pucks at my garage again. And again, the goalie never stops my blistering shot. Dad finally tells me to stop, but I know I'm getting better and better. And look at that garage door. Wow. I am better at practice, but I'm not great. I make some bad passes. I miss a wide open net. I even fall down and land on my butt. And our first game is just a day away. The team is great. Wayne scores three goals in the first period. Everyone throws hats on the ice. I shoot on net, but it's not blistering. The goalie makes the save. Maddie grabs the rebound and scores. <laughs> of course we win. She gets lots of hugs. Nice pass, Wayne says to me. Um, thanks, I reply. But I know it wasn't a pass. The next game is horrible. Wayne dakes out three players and he still has the puck. I'm so amazed I could stop skating and watch. Wayne passes me the puck, but I miss it. Their winger takes the puck and rushes past me. He ties the game. Luckily, Sam sorry, scores in overtime. He fools the goalie and lifts it over him. The shot knocks the water bottle off the net. It's a great goal.
I see it from the bench. It's a great to win. It really is. But am I doing anything? I don't even have a goal. I feel useless. I've made up my mind. Next game, I'm going to be the star. What a disaster. The game is tied. I have the puck. I know I should pass, but I want to score. Sam is wide open, but I take the shot myself. It hit the defenseman's leg and bounces backward. The other team gets a breakaway and scores, and we lose. Lose? I didn't think we could lose. Coach Wally looks disappointed. After the game, he calls a meeting. He says we need to keep our heads in the game. I knew he was talking about me. After the meeting, I walk up to Coach Wally. That game was all my f fault. I think I should quit. Coach Wally doesn't nod. He frowns. In the middle of the season? No, you don't start something and then quit. You're a part of a team. Yeah, the bad part of the team, I say. He puts his hand on my shoulders and smiles. Taylor, if you know you're not the biggest or the fastest player, you work on being the smartest. You don't have to be great at something to be great. I picked you because you worked hard. You had a great attitude. Get that back. Great, he said. My attitude was great. He said, was. I'll make it great again. Okay. The next game, I don't try to be the best player. I try to be the best I can be. I hope all my hard work pays off. We are tied again and I have the puck. But this time I don't try to score. I see that Wayne is wide open. I pass him the puck. It isn't a great pass, but he's so good he knocks it out of the air and into the net. <laughs> Coach Wally comes up to me. We wouldn't have won that game without you. I am shocked, but Wayne scored the goal. It was a great goal. Coach smiles. If you hadn't stolen the puck and passed it to him, he would have been out of position. You made sure he could be great and that we could be great. I feel so amazing. It feels great. the end. That's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.